Hi everybody, I'm going to show you a strumming and finger picking technique for a 3-4 timing using Save Me by Jelly Roll as a song example. So for a 3-4 timing you're counting 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So it's, it's a waltz timing, so if you've heard of the waltz dance that is traditionally a 3-4 time. It's also a timing used in a lot of uh, folk music. Um, they have a 3-4 or a 6-8 timing, so you go. Okay, so for Save Me by Jelly Roll, the strumming pattern is like this. It's like a... So to play that, you're going down, down, down. When you're strumming it, it's good to strike all of the strings um, evenly, you know, starting on the root note. So when you're playing on the, the root note, which is like the first note of the chord, so on C, the root note would be here on the A string. So you're starting on that when you're hitting the strings. You're not playing this uh, string here when you're playing the E chord. So Sorry, the C chord. So most of the, the striking takes part on the bass strings there on the A, D and G string for the down strokes and then when you're doing the down and up stroke you're hitting these top strings and then when you're playing the E minor chord you're playing all of the strings so you're hitting the E string there E, A and D strings on that, on that initial down stroke you're playing that down up down up down up stroke you're using hitting those strings as well so it's and you can play it with a plectrum as well if you prefer so if you're playing it with a plectrum you get a brighter tone with a plectrum um, but generally I prefer to to play it without a plectrum this rhythm you can also finger pick the rhythm as well, which is nice to do. So you're going. And to do that, um, you're starting with the C chord. You've got your thumb on the A string, second finger on the B string, first finger on the G string, third finger on the top E string, second finger on the B string, and first finger on the G string. So these fingers will always stay on those strings apart from the thumb which will change depending on what chord you're playing so when you're playing the C chord your thumb will hit the A string first but then when you're playing the E minor chord your thumb will hit the E string first but these fingers will stay the same so your second finger is always on the B string your first finger is always on the G string and your third finger is always on the top E string so you're going and then when you're playing the A minor chord, again your thumb will change to the A string because that is the first note of a chord or the root note of a chord there. And then when you're playing F major 7, your thumb changes again to hit the, this time it's going to start on the D string. And it would be the same if you were playing say the D chord for example there. You would start that with your thumb on the D string. Okay, so that is one way that you can play a 3-4 timing on the guitar doing either strumming or finger picking. Thank you for watching.